Welcome back, everybody. The goal of this lecture is to cover diabetic nephropathy in less than three minutes. Did you, did you hear that? Less than three minutes. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, less than three minutes. If you haven't already checked out the other videos on glomerular diseases, make sure to do that. It's going to put everything in perspective. All right, let the countdown begin. When you have diabetes, you're in a state of hyperglycemia. Why is this important to the kidneys? When you have hyperglycemia, two things ensue, okay? Two things. First, the hyperglycemia causes an osmotic diuresis. The second thing is that you have upregulation of three factors. Those three factors are IGF, nitrous oxide, and prostaglandins. Why are these important? They're important because they act to dilate the afferent arterial leading into the glomerulus. When you dilate the afferent arterial, you're increasing the amount of fluid that's going to the glomerulus and you're increasing the amount of capillary pressure that you have in there. When you have increased capillary pressure, you're going to increase the glomerular filtration rate and you're going to cause a microalbuminuria. And if you remember, if you remember from previous lectures, we talked about how increased glomerular pressure is going to cause increased trafficking through the, through the mesangial cells in the glomerulus. Why is this important? The mesangial cells, they secrete cytokines. Cytokines. These cytokines are going to destroy the podocytes. Okay, they're going to be destructive to the podocytes and it's going to cause a glomerular sclerosis. Why else is the mesangium important? Is because the mesangium can proliferate and you're going to have the recruitment of fibroblasts. Oh, wow. Wow. So when you have the recruitment of fibroblasts, okay, when you have the release of cytokines, you're going to ensue a process of glomerular sclerosis and fibrosis. Okay, now you're going to pretty much destroy the glomeruli. And as you destroy individual glomeruli, the ones that are remaining, you're going to increase the pressure in them and you're going to perpetuate the process. And when you perpetuate this process, it's going to lead to a state of chronic kidney disease. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, we're at 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Oh my goodness. Now let's talk about treatment. We'll get that in here. Okay, when you think about diabetic nephropathy, how do you want to treat these patients? First, obvious thing, decrease their hyperglycemia. Okay, you want to manage their glucose level. Diabetic nephropathy in the setting of diabetes mellitus type 2 is in indicates giving them insulin. Okay, you want to give these patients insulin. You want to decrease their glucose load. You also want to manage okay, their blood pressure. You want to manage the blood pressure in the glomerulus. So you want to give them an ACE inhibitor or an angiotensin receptor blocker and so that it inhibits the constriction of the efferent arterioles. This is going to relieve the glomerulus of the pressure, okay, and it's going to cause uh, a release to happen so that there's less pressure on the glomerulus to uh, have the microalbuminuria and the damage that's being done. Ladies and gentlemen, that is diabetic nephropathy in three minutes. Oh my goodness, we did it.